Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leticia and if it's your first time here, hello there sweetie pie. How are you? I hope everyone is fine. So did you guys see that? Did you guys like it? I know you did. So today I'll be showing you guys how I achieved that simple look. You know, I'm so impatient. Let's just get right into it. So first I'm going to scratch my crown of embarrassment, then take my weave net, which is a fish net. Yeah, whatever. Then I measure it and I put it where I want my rose to end. Take your edge control or your gel, your shine, shine and gem, whatever that you're going to use. Apply it on the faded lines of your cornrows just so that it can give that um, effect, you know, that cleanliness of the lines. So for the first step to revamp our cornrows, I'll be using a needle, a thread or a wool or a yarn, whatever that it's available. So I take my needle insert it inside my matted con row pull it out by the end where my weave cap is then i hold the end of the wool so that it doesn't go through so after that i start stitching from the front so that you can get the con row pattern so just be careful while you're stitching for you not to poke yourself because I was poking myself because I was trying to look at the mirror and looking at the camera at the same time. So just be careful with that. And on your hairline, please be gentle. Do not pull the wool very hard because you cause frictions on your hair and that's bad. You're going to stitch about three or four times back and forth back and forth until you get that neat look so in my case in this part of the con row i did it about three times because it's a very short um row guys be careful with your edges please please be careful it looks tight but believe me it's not tight my scalp is just meaty i have an egg head but my scalp is very meaty i don't know why so i'll be repeating the same procedure all around my head please be careful guys do not pull your cornrows from the other side because you're just going to hurt yourself and cause breakage so just do it slowly please be gentle with your hair use your red towel comb if your red towel comb the the tail part is not working use the comb part because that's much easier and it causes less tension on your scalp so this one row was not giving because there was so much of growth and i had to like stitch and stitch and stitch i stitched about I think five or six times so that it can come up at least neat and give me the results that I'm looking for. I beg. Uh -uh. Oh yeah. So when you finish your cornrows, when you finish stitching, you should always tie a knot. So this time I'm tying a knot just in front to show you guys how I tie my knot there Bam. so the first two i tied the knot at the back where the weave cap is but this one i tied in front just to show you guys how it looks like and also this cornrow was not giving so i wanted to give it that you know that cornrow face that snatch so that's why i tied the knot in front so the other part i did it off camera as you can see like who can tell that the hair was matted like who can tell that i had growth underneath <laughs> the second step that you're going to take is crochet crochet whatever that you whatever extension that you have in my case i used a brazilian wool guys i'm in love with the brazilian wool it's so affordable it's easy to use it's easy to attach like it's just easy in everything what i did is use the flexi rod as usual just to give it a little body you know so you know those wavy wavy I, i'm in love with those wavy wavy stuff so yeah
so it was getting late and my baby started nagging so I took it to the bathroom when you reach the elastic band part on your weave cap you have to crochet each and every um, piece of your extension your wool whatever that you'll be using all around your elastic band so that it gives it it makes it very full and it hides the band this way you can put it in different hairstyles and the band will not be visible at all so here I'm just going in and adding more hair where there's empty spots or wherever I missed so that it can be extra full because I don't really like full full hair but yeah I want it to be a bit a bit fluffy. So once you're done you just comb it out so that you can take out the excess hair or whatever so that it can make it more fluffy as well then cut the long the long part you know just to shape it and make it neat I'm all done so after that I just add my mousse you know piam piam so that in front by the cornrow so that it can look slick or slay and shine <laughs> to get rid of the flyaways as well this is the end result guys tell me this is not gorgeous I look fine I look elegant I look amazing I look lovely I look everything I look brilliant oh my god guys try this hairstyle it's so easy it's so easy I don't even know what to say it's very easy to do and very affordable I hope you guys will give it a try don't forget to like share and subscribe bye Show me sweetness and the love